Hello people, hi. I'm just here to do a quick video, a quick video really. I just want to show some things that I was wanting to do yesterday, but I have my notes here written down from last night and I couldn't do it. I really thank you guys for the prayers. Uh, went, I tell you, my crown fell out and I had to run back to the dentist yesterday. Oh my goodness. So it just took up more time that I didn't want to use. And so, um, while YouTube is still working, I'm going to try to do this quick video. I'm telling you, we're here. The house is a mess. We're trying to get ready to go out today to give some bags out to some of the people, the homeless people. So I'm not going to be here very long, but I want to come here. I got my hat on all backwards here. <laughs> I want to come here and just talk about, oh, uh, wow, Yeshua HaMashiach is the light of the world. You know, we're celebrating Hanukkah. And uh, so it just been uh, one thing after another. Last night I did look at a movie. I don't look at these movies very too much, but I look at some movies and some movies you should never watch ever. But uh, this one was about Hanukkah, um, the menorahs, uh, the menorahs and something was on the Hallmark Channel where he was talking about Hanukkah a little bit. It was just more like Christmas to me, but it was still kind of interesting. But I needed to chill out last night, just chill out. Was so tired from running back, running in, running out. But on the screen here, I'm going to get to some other articles here. I'm pretty much going to put some things in the description box. I haven't even looked at Israel News today yet, but I will put that in the description box, uh, this guy that do Israel News. But this is breaking Israel News from an article I got yesterday that, wow, people, I can't believe it. And can't believe it. But before I get into these articles, let me bring up my disclaimer. Uh, the news, views, and opinions shared in some of the videos created by us, uh, my husband and myself, uh, do not necessarily represent the views and opinions or beliefs of us, okay? Uh, Fill My Cup Ministries. Uh, not for children under the age of 18. Uh, so if you got children under the age of 18, you can always uh, let them watch it with you. But uh, I, I advise you not to want, let them watch it alone. Uh, so many people on social media now, children doing pretty much what they want to do. So anyway, but you have to just kind of uh, watch uh, uh, watch your children, direct your children, okay? But uh, this here came up, and I'm like, you know, I wouldn't be surprised. Colorado is just getting, I mean, it's just embarrassing to me, Colorado, all the things going on here. Uh, and I pray angels over this state and city and county every night. Uh, to keep shooters out, molesters out, rapers out, sex trafficking, drug trafficking, human trafficking. And I'm telling you, I know a lot of people are getting found. I know yesterday a lot of people was found who was missing. But we do these prayers every single day. But I'm telling you, people, it's just going to keep escalating because we are in the end at the end. And Daniel is open. Daniel 8 is what's going on now with these ships. Uh, I'm going to be showing that later. The ships around... Um, the Hamuz uh, Strait over there in the Middle East. Uh, 20 uh, ships, Iranian ships around the uh, uh, Abraham Lincoln ship. And so uh, this is why I wanted to come here and do kind of like a long video, but I'm going to come back and do it later. My husband's going to come back and join me. I want to go over Daniel 8 and 9 with you guys again. Daniel 8 especially where we are at right now, okay? But right now, I'm going to get into this article a little bit and show you some other news. And I want to show another lady. Today is 12-12. Uh, we got a lot of things about the moon uh, coming up. Uh, to, is it tonight or last night it was up? 12 a.m., 12-12 a.m. So uh, I want to just give you uh, one lady uh, that I was interested in hearing. I just don't hear her very much, but I was going to listen to her, uh, share her with you. And see what you think about it. But I did send it out to a few of you. Uh, but she talked about this prophecy. Or the thing about 1212. Uh, so let's go ahead. And uh, and then I will get over to. I uh, think it was something else. Yeah, about the USS Abraham Lincoln. I just showed it a few minutes. And uh, I think this other lady. Uh, got another message I want to show. And that's about it. And I will come back and do some other things. I know that uh, Carrie Geddon has a message out as well. So I'll probably be showing these three messages. And then I'm going to let you guys go for the day. And I'll come back and talk about Daniel 8. I even have to share with you Zechariah 10 chapter. And actually, if I go to Zechariah 10 chapter, 
uh, I might go there before I get off the video just for uh, one, uh, a few verses. It's not, but it's amazing. Amazing. It's not, but 12 verses in that chapter. And I thought that was interesting with the 12 thing. And he gave me that as well. Zechariah 10. So uh, let's go here. Father, be with me as I do this video. It's just too much going on. It's just a lot going on. We ask that your Holy Spirit cover us, Father. Let the blood of Yeshua HaMashiach cover your people today. We ask it in the mighty name of Yeshua. So I say Colorado Public School forces student to recite pornographic poem praising pagan god Moloch. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that something? That's just really evil. Do not allow any of your offspring to be offered up to Molech, and do not profane the name of your God. I am Hashem. Leviticus 18.21. Okay, coming from the Israel Bible. In Colorado Springs, a bizarre high school assignment for students to recite sexually explicit poetry that also included worship of the pagan god Moloch. Ryan A. Uh, Yaya, I can't even pronounce it, a teacher at Steamboat Springs High School, choose to teach the poem Howl, H-O-W-L, written by Allen Ginsberg for a class in music literature. The poem was in a book that had been approved by the school board, but the approved edition intended to be used to teach minors censored out inappropriate words a lot of Yala had the students fill in the missing words. Students were also asked to review a song that talked about sexting, sending and receiving text messages containing sexual content and offering sexual favors to a teenager. A letter of complaint was filed with the school by Bert, Brett Kaysen, the father of Skylar, a 16-year-old female student. They have this down here below where they're talking about it on this little video if you guys want to play it later, but I'm not going to uh, talk about that now. I just heard the video. They're just discussing what went on. Uh, so, you know, we got all this evil going on around us every day, and I'm going to take this off now, and I will put it in the description box because... It's really uh, was coming on one time. So I'm going to let this lady here on the screen talk. But before she talk, I'm going to um, go over here. All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Lewis. I'm going to go is this over here to this guy a few minutes uh, and meet him out first and let him talk about the Abraham Lincoln carrier. And that's why I want to come back and talk about Daniel 8 because that's what I... Boy, I wish I could just talk on Daniel 8 a few seconds here, but I, you know, I really want to come back and talk about it more. I mean, my husband want to come back and talk about it more, and we don't, I don't have the time right now. But uh, Daniel 8 talk about a section, a section in Daniel 8. I'm going here to the New James King, New King James Version. Uh, and when it talk about the, uh, I saw the ram in, in verse 4, verse 4, and that's why they said, uh, you know, we are in the third year of the reign of King Belshazzar. A lot of people looking at Trump as being a Belshazzar, but I don't know. A vision appeared to me. Uh, but I saw in the vision and saw it so happen while I was looking that I was in Shashun, the citadel, which is in the province of Elam. And I was in the vision, and I saw in the vision, I'm sorry, that I was by the river Uli. And then I lifted my eyes and saw, and there standing beside the river was a ram which had horns, and two horns were high, and one was higher than the other, and the higher one came up last. I saw the ram pushing westward, northward, southward, so that no animal could withstand him, nor was there any that could deliver from his hand, but he did according to his will and became great. And as I was considering, suddenly a male goat came from the west across the surface of the whole earth without touching the ground. And the goat had a notable horn between his eyes. And he's talking about Syria and, uh, uh, you know, what's going on now in, in, in the Middle East here. This is very prophetic uh, information here that's going on with this Abraham Lincoln thing and Iran uh, ships all around. Uh, so... So if you go and see this, you read uh, Daniel 8. Then he came to the ram that had two horns, which I had seen standing beside the river, and ran at him with furious power. And so uh, 
I saw him confronting the ram. He was moved with rage against him, attacked the ram and broke his two horns. And there was no power in the ram to withstand him, but he cast him down to the ground and trampled him. And there was no one that could deliver the ram out of his hand. So uh, this is talking about this stuff going on right now uh, over there. We will think and connecting this with that. But, uh, you know, we're just all looking and watching and looking, okay? And uh, so we need to be just praying and looking and watching. But let's play, play this real quickly. And then I will go over to this other lady and I will go over to Carrie Gittin and I will let you guys, I'm not going to be here too long, okay? Hold on a minute. December 11th, 2019, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. All right, guys, so we got some breaking news updates, and it says here, U.S. Navy aircraft carrier harassed by 20 Iranian small craft. Now, we are talking about the USS Abraham Lincoln aircraft carrier. Now, we are seeing uh, tensions rising over at the Persian Gulf, and uh, look, to be honest with you guys, things are heating up. The news media is not going to tell us, but things are heating up between Washington and Tehran. Earlier today, the U.S. has slapped uh, Iranian uh, biggest airport with sanctions. And now um, we are seeing, uh, and by the way, this is not ships. A lot of people are saying uh, ships are surrounding the USS uh, Abraham Lincoln. No, it's not. They are small craft uh again you can see here from the photo uh satellite uh well this news was released by iranian uh news network network so um again guys uh just trying to clear that one out uh many people are saying they are ships they're not they're small little iranian craft uh just harassing the uss abraham lincoln so we're gonna get to this story guys but uh, again these are uh warning sign messages to Washington um, due to all those sanctions. So eventually one day something will happen to that USS Abraham Lincoln. We just got to pray again for our troops and um, we are seeing things rising between uh, these two nations. The views and opinion expressed Hustle kingdom pray now kingdom but to give out God's wisdom for your personal and professional success. Amazon.com is where you find a copy. And may you find me at royalproclamations.com. Royalproclamations.com. So I'm back with a very, very, very major prophetic warning and alert um, for for 1212 to 1229 1229 yes if you remember um god the lord called them 17 days of apocalypse yes <laughs> i'm gonna break it down but if you remember my december prophetic word i said that it was a, a it was a major december was a major month of prophetic duality remember i talked about ringing bells and I talked about, you know, mass like ritual, you know, and, and, um, you know, like, um, bells also meaning like a national emergency and alarm danger, you know, and, um, yeah. And so I'll link it in the description section for those of you who are yet to catch my prophetic word for December and not sure what I'm talking about. So I'll link it in the description section, but I did mention it in that video um but what i didn't do is give dates and, and and scripture that god gave me about that particular about that particular word so um so i'm back here now with the dates and breaking it down a little bit more and with scripture that the lord gave me so here are the dates here are the dates 12 12 to 12 29 was what god gave me okay and what i heard was 17 days of apocalypse <laughs> people are god is not looking good it is not looking good not looking good however within those 17 days you know they're going to be peak days they're gonna peak days okay so um 12 12 
and 12.13 and 12.19 are peak days. And then he said three days of darkness, you know, three days of darkness or three days of terror, three days of fire. That was actually what I heard first. That was what I heard first, 1226 to 1229. Those will be the, those will be the last three days in that 17 day period. And, and so, of course, you know that I'll do research and I'll pray about it and I'll ask God, you know, God will speak to me through the, a scripture word. And, and of course, I did that. I did that. And, and, and here are the, um, the, the, no, the significance of those numbers. Let us start with the numbers first, the significance, the prophetic significance of numbers because you know that numbers are significant biblically, okay? So this is not gematria or angel cards or whatever, or whatever. but biblically they're, they're significant. So we have 12, 12, um, you know, and, and then the 12, 26 being um, the 368th day of the year, 12, 29 being 363, which is 12, Anyway, all of them add up to 12, basically, okay? Praise God. Or are in that multiples of 12. And 12 is about kingdom alignment and governmental order, okay? That's number 12. Remember, there are 12 tribes of Israel, 12 gates, and, you know, 144,000, which is 12, 12. And Jesus had 12 apostles. I'm not going to break down this whole teaching. I'm not going to do a teaching on the number 12. But um, that's what the number 12 is about, governmental order and alignment. Okay. And then you also know that 12, 6, 6 is a multiple of 12, you know, 6, 6 is 12. <laughs> so you have the number of the beast and the number of man all in that number 12. So, so those dates, okay, what we're going to see in those 17 day period let me start on the good side on god's side is it's it means it's a time of a kingdom alignment when god is bringing things into alignment into order he's ordering it according to his will and according to his purposes okay praise god and then you know the antithesis is they always imitate god and so you know they're going to also they're also bringing in their own kingdom agenda in order in alignment they are orchestrating events to bring to pass to bring into a establish on earth kingdom on earth as it is in heaven right that's the alignment okay um they they're, they're going to try and bring it in um bring on earth events to bring their own agenda into into the earth realm to establish the agenda and kingdom order agenda into the earth realm if you know what i mean okay i'm sure you understand what i mean i hope i'm making sense and i haven't lost you so far so that's what's happening that's what happens at 12 that's the 12 12 12 number the it's some significance of 12 and I, we're actually in the 12th year two plus zero plus one plus nine is 12. I released 12 sales at the beginning of the year. Okay, so this is the 12th year. And we started from 2012, this all um, bringing into alignment into 2024, going to be very significant. But okay, don't let me overwhelm you. I think I'm going too uh, far ahead. And I think I might have explained this before in the past. But anyway, the bottom line of what I'm saying is that 1212 is about alignment and bringing kingdom to order, bringing kingdom on earth and bringing earth in alignment with kingdom order and agenda and plan. Okay. Okay. So far, so good. Now, now this is what you need to understand that the process of order or bringing order is chaotic. Okay, okay. And so I'm going to explain this order out of chaos um, uh, philosophy or principle to you. 
So uh, by giving you an analogy, okay? Because I want your understanding to be fruitful. I want you to really understand what's going on. And, and I believe God wants you to. So I want to really break it down so that we can understand, you know? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So let, us, let me give you this analogy. Let us assume I'm in my office right now. And I want to rearrange. I want to reorder. I want to order, bring order, you know, this to this room, okay, to my office. What is the first thing I do? Talk to me, dependers. I know you can't talk to me. We're not live. But you know, the first thing that you do is you're going to, first of all, empty this room. I will empty the room out, okay? I will eliminate things. I will throw things out and all of that. That process is chaotic. The first step is chaotic. So that's the first thing I'll do. I'll throw things out. I'll bring things out. I'll empty the room. I will purge it. Hello? Hello? Listen to my words very carefully. I will purge it. I will clean it. And then I will now begin to rearrange and order things in the way I want it. Mm. Catch this word, people of God. I've said so many things here, but it will make sense as I continue to break it down. Okay, so we are going to see this process of a kingdom bringing order coming, but it's going to start through chaos because they're going to, first of all, dismantle the existing, okay? They will dismantle it and then they will now begin to bring the new order. Mm -hmm. Okay, they'll dismantle it, they'll purge it, they'll clean it out, and then they bring the new order. People of God, purge anarchy is here. Purge anarchy is here. Like I said a minute ago, you'll understand when I go to scripture even better. Okay, because for me, God speaks to me through his word. That's just the way I roll, the way I'm trained. The word is the final authority of everything I hear and all that. So God always speaks to me through his word. And this is the word he gave me. Actually, this is my 12th prophetic seal of 2019 that I released in January. So I'll link that also in the description section. And I think I also released a purge anarchy um, video, if I'm not mistaken. I'll link all those as well in the description section because they're going to be f more manifest, very manifest in this in this 12, next 12 days or weeks, 17 days that I talked about, actually. Okay, so now listen, Revelation 12, 12 is the scripture God gave me, but we have to read actually the entire chapter of Revelation for you to understand it fully. I'm not going to do that right now. I'm only going to read a few scriptures. So we'll start at Revelation 1. A few scriptures from Revelation 12. To Revelation 12, 1. It says that, And now a great sign appeared, appeared in the heaven. Emphasis on great sign. Hashtag great sign. A woman clothed with the sun, with the moon under her feet, on her under our feet and on our, on our head a garland of 12 stars okay then we've been with child and on and on then verse 3 and another sign appeared in heaven hashtag again sign in heaven okay behold a great fiery red dragon having seven heads and ten horns and seven diadems on his head and i'm not gonna keep reading i'll just jump to verse 12 verse 12 revelation 12 12 therefore rejoice O heavens and you who dwell in them woe to the inhabitants of the earth and the sea for the devil has come down to you having great wrath we say wrath. Some Americans say wrath. I say wrath <laughs> because I'm British. Because he knows that he has a short time. The enemy has descended with a wrath, according to the word. That is why the Lord said is twelve twelve apocalyptic. Okay, we're going to see chaos. But I want to point out something to you. What's going on in, in Revelation is a period of great 
spiritual warfare, like a tug of war. Those 17 days, people are God that I talked about, 1212 to 1229, severe. It's even going to spill over into the new year, but I don't want to go that far. I don't want to go that far. I just want to keep us in this month and this year. And 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 so um yeah, tug of war, battle, spiritual warfare. Well, I read Revelation um twelve well well. Uh, 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 but but I want to point out something. It talks about signs in heaven. It talks in, in about two or three verses there. It talks about sign in heaven, sign in heaven. My God, my God, my God, you can't make this up, stuff up. Because you see signs in heavens, the, the moon and the stars. Jesus, the Bible says that there'll be signs in heaven to precede his coming. You, signs, like I say, are evidence of the time. They're evidence of the season. Okay, the Bible talks in, in, in Genesis that he gave us the moons and stars and all that as, as signs, as evidence of signs and, and times. Okay, so when you read, look at the number and then you look at the sign in of what's going to be happening on those dates. My God, my God, my God, you find a full alignment and total confirmation. And so, and so now 1212 is the final full moon of 12, 2019. And it's a peculiar one because they call it the long night moon. That is going to be, um, uh, um, the moon really rises and falls very quickly. But this one is going to be standing for a long time. And it's, it's going to be the, in its fullness at 12, 12 a.m. I mean, you can't really make this stuff up, really. Okay, that is as far as the date of 12, 12 is concerned. And then, you know, 12, 13, that's another confirmation of the sign. 12, 13 is a Friday, Friday the 13th. 13 number is very, you know, um, in the occult. And then you have the 19th. Now, so th we see that sign in the heavens on 12, 12. Now, when it comes to the 26th, which is the 368th day of the year, we see another sign, another sign, another major sign, okay? And that sign is um, the, um, the solar eclipse that is coming on the 29th, on the 26th, I beg your pardon, is the third and final one as well of the year. Emphasis on the word final. Both of them are finals. Mm. And what did I tell you about December? About endings, okay? Praise God. I'm, I'm, I'm laying the background. I'm, I'm laying the background. I'm doing more of a teaching here because I really want to bring you in the loop. I want you to understand. I just don't want you to be talking about the numbers, look out, beware, duality and all that. And then you don't really understand what is going on. I want you to understand the principles and understand what's going on so that you can better understand yourself. Even when you're, you're, you know, you're doing your study and things like that, you don't even need me to come out and tell you. You under, already understand. But anywho, that's why I'm breaking it down. <laughs> so, so it's a both. Both of them are final, final, final. And 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 the last one, the solar eclipse, if they said it's going to be um they call it um an annular um eclipse, you know, called it they call it a ring of fire, you know, because of the of the way it's shaped and all of that. Aha. Uh -huh. So so let me break it down. Let me now start breaking it down for you since you got the background and the gist of what's going on. So here's what's going on. There's a tug of war in Genesis, and I beg your pardon, in Revelation between the beast, the woman, and her child. Thus saith the Lord, Christians and Christian churches will be an, at, under attack during that season, during those 12, 17 days. I beg your pardon. Yes. Christian and a Christian churches be on the lookout, especially Christians in Islamic countries, to be watch to watch out and have extra security during their gatherings and masses. Like I said in the December word, it's the end of churchianity. 
so it's been dismantled so for you to still go to mass and whatever i see attacks uh, uh, on churches during that period that's what we will see because that's the war going on between the the devil in revelation 12 and the and the bride of christ and the church and the child of christ so there's a warfare going on that we're going to see that and and countries asia in particular comes to my mind you know asia is going to be under a lot of attack asia australia new zealand africa and europe <laughs> indonesia in particular needs to be on eye spiritual attack because that nation is known as the ring of fire because of where they're located so they come to my mind a lot okay and so i call uh, them uh, to pray to pray and intercede so the other thing we're going to see is um, massive earthquakes and eruptions. I know we've already seen a resolve, eruption, but I, what I was perceiving in the spirit as, as I was downloading this message and God was speaking to me is that it's a global shakening is going to take place, like a, a shakening, you know, it's going to shake the earth. And, and and the only thing that I know that can shake the earth physically in that extent is an earthquake, a massive um, earthquake. So we're going to see an earthquake um, and eruptions, things from the earth, earth cracks, things that will erupt from the earth and shatter and break and shake things. We're going to see that. Massive fires, massive fires, that ring of fire. Remember, and when I was talking about ringing bells, I was talking about um, alarms, fire alarms for bells. So fire, fiery stuff. So we're going to see fires. And the Lord said to me, fires from gunfires. <laughs> I'm like, okay, what are you saying, Lord? Gunfires, atomic fires, wildfires, you know. So those 17 days, 12, 12 to 1229 and then 1226 to 1229 he calls days of terror my god days of terror is not looking good people are god and then crashes especially train especially train we're gonna see that china comes to my mind i told you like asia i'm picking up asia very strongly in my spirit so china comes to my mind kenya as well comes to my mind for africa that's why i said africa as well I don't know why East Africa, for some reason, I've done a teaching on that, but I'm picking them up as well. Um, civil unrest, civil unrest. Purge anarchy is about unrest. You know, I will link the videos, like I said, in the description section. Then when it was said, talking about power, um, darkness and terror and fire, um, I heard power outages, power failure, you know, that will lead into darkness, Okay. Okay, so praise God. And all of this is really going to, the goal is to bring about this new order. <laughs>
when I was telling them to look up, I said to myself, I bet they're not going to believe me <clears throat> and I bet they won't see it. Because oftentimes in my vision, when I see uh, more than one sun or more than one moon, there are always people there beside me, but they, they can't see it. So in the vision, I was yelling to everybody around me, look up, look up. There's a second sun beside the sun. Look up, everybody. Brothers and sisters, people started to look up and when they looked up they saw what i was seeing and the shock the shock and the fright on their faces was so telling brothers and sisters it was so telling they was in, they were in shell shock really they were so shocked because it's overwhelming when you see these things you know and, and this is in a vision and as they begun to look uh, they saw the sun and another sun beside the sun, brothers and sisters. And they they looked over where the moon was and they began to wonder. They were saying, well, that's the moon, that's the sun, and there's a second sun behind it. And I heard when this lady says, this is called uh, Uranus. That's what she says. She said, this is called Uranus, uh, Uranus moon. That's what she said, Uranus moon. Now, when she said that to me, I didn't know in the vision what she was talking about. But she did say this is called Uranus moon. So before I came, before I came and did this vision concerning uh, the, the sun, that the sun beside the sun, brothers and sisters, I went on Google <laughs> and type in, uranus and as i was typing uranus i saw uranus moons i was so shocked i was absolutely shocked i was moved to tears because i never know that there's moons called uranus moons and in this vision the lady said this is uranus moon and the reason why she said that is because the vision the vision shifted we're same place outside. It was broad daylight. But the vision kind of shifted. And I saw, I was the first one who saw it, four moons just line up in the sky. And that's when she said, this is Uranus moon. And then she saw the moon and everybody else that was in this field with me saw exactly what I was looking at. And for her to say to me in the vision, she knew exactly what it was. She said, this is Uranus moons. And when and as I said, I went in Google because I didn't know what to find when I typed in Uranus. And as I was typing Uranus in Google, moons came up. I couldn't believe I'm still in shock. The vision is so plain and clear, brothers and sisters. So plain and clear. Uranus moon. And it is real. And the lady told me in the vision that these four moons that I can see lined up, it's Uranus moon. Those of us who are watchmen and watch women on the wall for the Lord, we know that something terrible is coming. We've talked about it. We call it Planet X, Nibiru, whatever you want to call it. But this thing, when it appears, brothers and sisters, it will appear with moons. It's going to be shocking. It's going to be so frightening. You feel like you're in a movie. You have to prepare yourself. You have to prepare your hearts. You've got to draw close to the Most High. You must draw close to the Ruwa and the set-apart spirit. You must draw close to the Messiah, Christ Jesus. You have to. You have to, because if you don't, you're not going to survive uh, spiritually, mentally, physically, and all of that. Because the things coming up on the earth, you know, people often say to me, and they, whatever they want to do, videos about me. But they said, oh, your, your channel is scary. It's not scary, because our Messiah says that men hearts will fail them for the things coming upon the earth. Why would Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Messiah, the King of glory, hallelujah, say that to us? Why would he say your heart is going to fail you when you see certain things coming upon the earth? You have to learn to get into biblical prophecies. You cannot sweep it underneath the carpet forever. 
You've got to open your heart and your mind. And if you don't understand, you go in prior to the Lord. That is what it is. Same thing with me. With the Lincolnship, um, the video that I've posted, um, you know, I heard the prophecy. I went into prior since October, I think November and all of that, nothing. But I kept on asking the Lord, show me something concerning this. And I was able to come because if he hadn't shown me, I wouldn't release. So when he showed me what the Lincoln ship sinking or the May Day that's going to happen, I was able to come on YouTube and say and give the prophecy. Brothers and sisters, it's not going to be pretty. We are in the end. We are in the end of days. And this world is just going down the drain. Because it's a godless society. They hate him. They hate the most. Uh, they really, really do. But we are not in darkness. We are in the light. And the darkness will not overtake us. Meaning that uh, we are in the know-how. Amen. We are in the know-how. So I just wanted to come with this prophecy concerning the four moon. They are coming. That's, that's what it's all about. You will see moons. I saw four, could be more than four. But you will see moons in the sky. It's going to be very overwhelming. Very, very overwhelming. But for those of us who are in the Messiah, glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Those of us who are in the Messiah, who, who is in Yah, amen. We will be okay. But I just this is a warning because it is coming. Okay, these moons are coming, brothers and sisters. Um, so if you want, you can go and Google Uranus moon. I did I did, and it is real. I didn't know. I didn't know until the lady said told me in the vision. So this is real. So God eternally bless you. I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Someday in glory. In Jesus' precious holy name, amen and amen. Amen. Blessings. Amen. Praise the Lord, everyone. Welcome to the God Seller 7 End Time Prophecy Channel. Um, I'm Sister Barbara, and I have a prophecy I'd like to share with you today. Um, just before I start, let me just make sure that um, I was having a problem, of course, getting out to Facebook. So let me just make sure before I start, um, I could find the prophecy on here. I had people here working yesterday, so they moved all the furniture around, and I can't actually fix it with one hand, and my nurse isn't here yet. So I was, wasn't able to get, actually, I'll say, set up properly the, um, here we go, um, the tripod, the recorder. Right, I'm thinking I'm going to, it's going to come up great. Thanks, God. Um, now, I was hearing this prophecy, parts of it, for a few days. I wasn't really sure what it was going to become with what I was hearing and was being shown. And it's, um, it's, it's not actually a, a nice story, what, what I got. Um, so join me in the King James Version Bible, and I hope I'm recording here. Um, the book of Daniel, chapter 12, um, let's see, um, verse 4. But thou, O Daniel, shut up the words and seal the book, even to the time of the end. Many shall run to and fro, and knowledge, knowledge shall be increased. Okay, that's as far as I'm going on that. Um, so once again, um, I was hearing this for a few days. I had no idea what it was going to become, and, and, and it's very ugly. So here we go. Um, so I got this, um, let's see, um, I'm going to say a few hours ago here. Daughter, you must speak again. I know you are weary. The nation's leaders are preparing for a mass population extermination. The rich and powerful have been notified and they are prepared. They have made safe places for themselves. Plague, death, and food contamination will kill many. They have prepared detention camps and have trained workers in place. Now, you can run from the authorities, but you can't hide from them. They have equipped the towers with weapons and surveillance. They monitor your actions from your very own electronics. Those resisting and speaking the truth will be taken away and put to death. 
The final king will return to power as it is written. The time is upon you for the words written in the little book to be revealed. Wow. I, I can't even say anything else about it. Now, I know I have prophecy out there about the final king um, coming to power. And I also have a prophecy about what's going to happen when the beast uh, takes power. Um, the beast, in theory, is the final king. Um, he's the king that was and that will come again. So just you could read between the lines there and figure out what's possibly going to happen. Um, so once again, I don't want to go off on a tangent. Um, I got beautiful things in the mail. Well, Okay, people, uh, those are the main three messages I wanted to share from the watchmen, the watchwomen out there or, uh, watching and praying and looking. And that's all we really should be doing ourselves, watching and looking and praying. Uh, and I shared them because I believe it. And I have other uh, messengers. Another guy last night was talking about great fire was coming as well. Um, I have an article that I will post in the description box on the Pope as he is wanting the Sunday law to be completely all over the world I, I, from another uh, one of my Adventist uh, people. Um, he's talking about the Pope wanting the whole world to come under this one world order, one world religion. So we know all these things they are working on to bring in this new order as uh, the sister was saying in the first video. Uh, a new order, a new order of things, a one world order, a new world order, a one world religion. So uh, we, I've been talking about this on my channel many, many years and months. So uh, we got all these uh, kingdoms alignment of the governments coming in and all these things. People want to take over the world. Uh, we got trouble, trouble, trouble coming, people. I'm going to come back and share Zechariah 10 with you guys, me and my husband, sometime today or tomorrow. I don't know when, but uh, I got to get it out to you because he's been showing me that Zechariah 10. Uh, 12 verses in Zechariah 10, amazingly. Uh, and, uh, you know, because it's talking about him he doing his government. You know, the world want to have their government, but Yeshua got his government. And he's going to be the one that rule forever and forever. Uh, uh, you know, he's going to be the king of kings and lord of lords forever and forever. Praise God Almighty. So we don't have to worry about these false kings, these false prophets. We need to worry about the true prophet. We need to be giving our life to him. Our soul and mind and heart and every part of our being to our Messiah, Yeshua HaMashiach. Because I'm telling you, it's no other way out. No other way out, people. It's no other way out. I'm going to go now. I'll put these things in the description box for you to go look at entirely. Uh, also, I will be putting uh, some other news things in the description box. So uh, a lot of people been asking about different uh, channels they want to switch over to. I know I was given one called Brighton. Uh, www.brighton.com uh, And then also uh, Bite Shoot I'm looking at. Uh, seem to be pretty simple enough. B-I-T-C-H-U-T-E uh, but other than that, you uh, will see in the description box all the social media sites I'm linked to, uh, LinkedIn and Facebook and, uh, you know, our blog, uh, which is uh, http slash slash www.ourdailydrink.wordpress.com. Uh, so you can go there and if you get all lost and anything, we'll be posting things there where you'll know where we're going to do videos at again if we have to be shut down off YouTube, which is very possible anytime, any day now. Uh, so I just had to come and share this with you on 12-12 because we got a lot of things going on on 12-12 all down to the end of the month. Uh, so I hope you got something out of this. I hope you're going and reading and studying and uh, talking to the Father yourself, praying with Him, and reaching out to Him, and giving your whole life to Him right now. Young people, old people, don't matter. We need to be really uh, knowing the times we're living in. Like Carrie Gideon was saying, this is nothing scary. Uh, it, you know, the, the, the word, Yeshua didn't, uh, He didn't make the written word for us to be scared of. He made it for us to be wise, for us to be not stupid, not for us to be stupid and, uh, and walking in darkness. He wants us to walk in His light. So we need to be understanding He is the light of the world, and we need to be giving ourselves to Him because all these other things going to be, oh my goodness, He's going to take care of all these things eventually. The devil, the devil and his demonic angels. 
So Father, be with us today. I thank you so much for your lust, your blessings, your love for us, your care for us. Uh, we thank you for the offerings coming in to help the homeless, the widows, the orphans. We're going to be going out today. Uh, we ask that your holy presence be with us as we reach the people you want us to reach. Uh, we thank you so much for the people who have given, contributed to these things. Uh, we ask that they continue to contribute as we try to uh, help the people in this time of the year, the winter season. Uh, we know it's going to be a harsh winter. Uh, it's an almanac and different people are saying already we're going to have a fierce winter. Uh, cold weekend here in Colorado starting tomorrow uh, so uh, into Sunday and so it's just not going to be good all over in the east coast all up there too as well uh, so we ask for your prayers over your people over your people father scattered all over the world we bind Satan and all these evil angels below beyond beneath mentioned and unmentioned known and unknown we bind all evil spirits on assignment against us father in every way we ask for your holy presence to be with your people to guide them to Direct them to show them that you said already you did tell us this absolutely told us this you said that we should pray that we'll be worthy to escape these things coming on the earth pray 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 uh, that our sins won't find us out we need to be really ready ready stand ready before uh, the throne of grace uh, because grace is going to be leaving us very soon we don't have grace we won't have nobody interceding we need to know how serious the times are people are dropping dead a, a lot of hollywood stars are dropping dead a lot of other people are dropping dead and we don't never know our time our appointed time of death so we need to be giving our life to you making sure our calling and election is sure knowing that we should be praying and studying to show ourselves approved not going by everybody else what they saying but we also should have a testimony and knowing that you are the true and living God the true and living Yeshua HaMashiach so father we thank you for your love for us we ask that you bless the people uh, 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 supplying their needs according to your riches and glory whether it's physical mentally spiritually and we just thank you thank you thank you for Hanukkah the season of light the time that we should be celebrating uh, on, about you coming into the world being the light of the world uh, saving us from all uh, death and saving us from eternal damnation so we should be uh, lifting you up father not these pagan holidays we need to be lifting you up father so we thank you so much for your love and your mercy and your care uh i ask that you can come quickly come quickly and so uh we just i know i just ask you to come quickly because things going to be so bad we're not going to be able to handle it most of it so we just ask for your grace and mercy and your holy spirit to cover us the blood of yeshua hamashiach to cover us over our doorposts over our homes Homes, uh, over our jobs, Father, uh, just protecting us, putting angels in charge over us. As you said in Psalm 91, you will put angels in charge over your people. Uh, we ask that we would call on our angels in this evil times right now. And so, Father, we thank you for this day. We ask your blessings and we ask them all in the mighty name of Yeshua HaMashiach. So, people, I'm going to go now and I will come back with another video. I got to come back and do Zechariah 10. So, uh, you guys have a wonderful and blessed 12-12 uh, uh, Thursday and be safe and put the armor around you when you're going out, put your angels around you when you're going out. Don't take nothing for granted people. Cause we are under these demonic, uh, demons are all around us and we have to put our holy angels around us when we go out. So make sure you do that. And I'll see you guys right now. I'm going to go, uh, and I'll see you guys on another video, uh, sometime. Okay. So I'm just going to say Shalom, Shalom. Um, Oh, let me see here if I can find, okay, and get my thing up. Okay, love you so, sorry, couldn't be, it wasn't a long shot video again, so I'm just saying there's so much material out now, so 53 minutes, so I will see you guys in another video. Shalom, shalom. Love you so much. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's HTTP colon slash.